last week, President Biden published an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal touting his economic record. It was not exactly new material. The President's well known for attempting to put a rosy spin on his economic record. But I still have to marvel every time the President claims that he's building the economy from the bottom up and the middle out and working to give families, quote, more breathing room. Because if there's one thing that can be said about the Biden presidency, it's that American families have lost a lot of their breathing room. The inflation crisis the president helped create is costing American families $880 this month. Let me just repeat that, Mr. President. The inflation crisis that the president helped create is costing American families $880 this month. $880 for just one month. Meanwhile, real wages have declined for 26 consecutive months under President Biden. 26 consecutive months. Two plus years. So it's no surprise that in a poll last month, 49% of Americans reported that their personal financial situation is getting worse. Or that in another poll, 61% said recent price increases had caused financial hardship for them or their household. And Mr. President, let's be very clear. This is not a random situation that just happened to occur on the President's watch. The President bears direct responsibility for this inflation crisis, which was set off in large part thanks to the bloated, big government, American rescue plan spending spree that Democrats and the President forced through shortly after the President came to office. And you don't have to take my word on that. Here's what one former Obama advisor had to say on the subject, and I'm quoting here. The $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan passed in the early days of the Biden administration will go down in history as an extraordinary policy mistake, end quote. Will go down in history as an extraordinary policy mistake. That from an Obama advisor. Or as a, another former Obama advisor noted, and I quote again, the original sin was an oversized American rescue plan, end quote. And contrary to what he suggests in his op-ed, the president has done exactly nothing to bring down inflation since. Indeed, he's continued to pursue the same kind of big government, big spending policies that helped land us in this mess in the first place. And so it's frankly staggering to me that the President continues to have the audacity to say things like hardworking families are reaping the rewards of his policies. Hardworking families are certainly reaping something from the President's policies, but it isn't rewards. But as I said earlier, the President is well known for trying to put a rosy spin on his economic record. And he trots out some of his favorite misleading statistics in this op-ed. Since he took office, he claims, the economy has created more than 13 million jobs. Well, that sounds pretty good, right? Until you realize that the vast majority of those jobs weren't newly created, but are rather just jobs that were naturally added back after the pandemic. Currently, we are just 3.7 million jobs above where we were pre-pandemic. Oh, wow, friends. The federal government has already spent billions of dollars in crisis relief aid, leaving many states with record high budget surpluses. Lawmakers now have to decide what to do with this money. Many have agreed to send hundreds of dollars directly to their residents. Dear friends, if you reside in one of these states, you may be eligible so please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. Also, in three days, I will be announcing more winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, all you need to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dear friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Inflation-adjusted stimulus checks, also known as economic impact payments, were payments by the government to help U.S. citizens offset 
high costs in certain areas of their lives, such as food, transportation, and health care. So when the recession hit, millions of Americans found themselves struggling to pay their bills and make ends meet. So in response to this crisis, our federal government decided to approve new legislation. In December 2020, payments of up to $600 per adult were approved under the Crisis-Related Tax Relief Act of 2020. The American Rescue Plan Act of 2021 provided a third economic impact payment, which was up to $1,400 per individual or $2,800 per couple. The aim of stimulus checks was to offset the high cost of living, and it can also help lower the cost of income taxes that would be paid by the recipient. As part of the American Rescue Plan, all states were provided a combined total of $195 billion to help support their economic recovery. The states now have to decide how to use the money by the end of 2024. This is leading to many states passing new relief packages that will provide their residents with bonus payments. The latest state to approve extra relief is Minnesota. The rebate checks were authorized by the state legislature and Governor Tim Walz in the recently concluded session, but they were a bit underwhelming for Minnesota residents. Many had higher hopes after the state's budget surplus had soared past $17 billion, and the governor had earlier suggested $1,000 checks to individuals, $2,000 for couples, and up to $2,600 for families with children. The past legislation provides payments of $520 for married couples who file a joint return with adjusted gross incomes of $150,000 or less. Officials in the state of Hawaii say that residential property tax bills are to be distributed on July 20th and will reflect the $350 tax credit for all eligible taxpayers. This credit will be automatically deducted from an eligible taxpayer's property tax bill. Also, residents in Greensboro, North Carolina, still have a few days left to apply for a property tax rebate with a max payment that's worth around $150. The City Council of Greensboro approved a pilot program earlier this year that will give eligible applicants a rebate on their property taxes. A total of $250,000 has been set aside to reimburse applicants with this rebate, and about 1,500 to 2,000 applications are expected to be received. According to Yahoo News, housing remains competitive in the South as Americans continue to flock there, pushing up home prices in the region. Four Southeast cities of the 20 nationwide tract, four Southeast cities led year-over-year -year price growth in March. The home value index for Miami soared 7% year-over-year, followed by annual increases of 4% in Tampa, Florida. The popularity of the South contrasts with the West, where some cities show double-digit annual declines, such as Seattle and San Francisco, where homes are selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars less than last year. The robustness in the South underscores how often real estate markets are as dependent on local factors like climate, taxes, and costs, and costs as much as national ones, such as inflation or mortgage rates. Home price increases followed these migration patterns, which only accelerated during the crisis, when the working from home culture allowed Americans to consider moving. Florida saw the highest net domestic migration in the last two years. Nearly 450,000 people moved to the Sunshine State between July 2021 and July 2022. This increased Florida's population by almost 2%. Work from home culture was one of the biggest reasons why Americans have been able to move. Many employees with flexibility to work remotely can now choose their home based on warmer weather and lower costs rather than proximity to their office. Well, my awesome and most beautiful friends, 
That is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me here and for being part of this community. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, I will be announcing several winners this coming Friday for the $75 Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, all you need to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dear friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.